See, now you can tell I'm wearing I'm we I'm not nude. Okay? I promise. Wait. There you go. I I'm not nude. I do look like it. <laughs> yes. Katie, why did you make me get on this camera nude? No, I did not. <laughs> I was saying we should drink more wine before we get on the camera. Well, I don't have any cold right now. We just drank a whole bottle. <laughs> and a quarter. From what you had, or you know, believe it. Somebody else came and drank some. I know that's why I was saying. I'm like, why does it? They don't put enough in the bottle. It's they not don't. full. It should be like a Mary Poppins bag, but a Mary Poppins wine bottle. Right? Every time you pour it, even if it looks empty, it more never wine changes. Comes out. It's one of those. Yeah, <clears> I totally <throat> agree. I totally agree. So, um, you have a funny story to tell us. Well, yeah, it's mildly funny. It's my okay. I'll yeah. take mild. Okay. Well, Jay and I went hiking yesterday at a place where we thought we had never been, and we really didn't know how to get there because I just sort of picked the spot on the map and I'm like, I think it's right here. Let's try it through here. And um, we had our hike and we found a snake. Salamander, or at least insects. I saw all the pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Facebook. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. Did you see the picture of the two of us? Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Oh, you did? I haven't yeah. been on. Well, um, some, <laughs> someone mm -hmm. said, what did they say? Hold on. Uh, it's right on my brain. Um, oh, breath. Um, yeah, he was like, breath. Yeah, he was like, oh, that scraggly monster or something. And he's like, Harry yeah. Beast. Yeah, Harry <laughs> Beast. And he's like, don't talk about my girlfriend like that. And I liked it because I thought it was hilarious. It was just funny. Well, when Brett first commented and said that, Jay was like, do you see what Brett wrote about you? And I read it <laughs> on Jay's phone. And I was like, no, he didn't. I didn't even think that he was talking about that. Anyway. You didn't? Because my hippie hair. No, hair it was his down. big old fro. I know. Plus all the whiskers. Well, I didn't see that part, but I saw the fro. Well, the fro didn't last long, let me tell you, because it was so. We so we're hiking up the trail and we're trying to find this place called Bear Rock. And I was like, Bear Rock sounds really familiar. I think we've been here before, but from the opposite direction. Okay. And um, because we've been from the opposite direction, of course, I was determined to find it from this side. And we stopped and like asked a couple of people, how much further is it? Oh, I you know, it's Bear Rock. Into this guy's accent, he had an accent. Okay. Couldn't tell what it was. Um, and we heard thunder. And I said something to Jay along the lines of like, I didn't say should we turn around because I didn't want him to agree with me. I was like, do you think it's okay if we keep going? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was getting really cloudy and there was more thunder. We didn't see any lightning yet. Okay. But we were under tree cover. So maybe that's why we didn't see any lightning. That could be. Yeah. And so we're hiking before you get to Bear Rocks. It's this place called the Knife Edge. And it's like this exposed ridge where if it does start raining, it's very treacherous because it's all rocks that you have to scramble over and it just like and drops off. Probably muddy too, right? Not, not no, muddy? not muddy. Not muddy because it's not the trail. Like It's not like a dirt trail anymore. It's oh, just okay. rocks. And you have to okay. climb over these rocks and it just drops off on either side of you. And we got to the knife edge and it didn't start raining yet so that was good and that's where we took the picture of the two of us mm -hmm. yeah and it was a lot yeah of i could tell because in the background it was very stormy looking yeah 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 mm -hmm. i noticed that and so pretty soon after we took this picture this gate jay's ghetto what's it called the thing that holds your camera Tripod? Tripod. Yeah, he made a tripod out of rock. Oh. Cool to take our so, yeah, I was wondering about that, actually. I'm like, who else was there? Yeah, no, he made a tripod. Okay. And he has this thing on his phone. You might have it on your phone. Like it where delays for like well, 10 seconds or it something? it delays for 10 seconds, or you can set it to voice command, and he can choose several different voice commands. And so, so like, he, cheese? Right, cheese is one of them, okay. of course, because that's the standard <laughs> That's really one. neat, because I don't so have that on mine. It will wait for like two minutes. Mm -hmm. if you're trying to like get set up and then as soon as you say cheese you know then it will take the picture he sets it to kimchi so but you have to say it in this lady's voice <laughs> so he's, so like, he's like kimchi well he's like you should say it i was like no it recognizes your voice because it's your phone you should say it he's like kimchi 
Hey, Kim Jean! Take an art picture. <laughs> yeah. So after we took a couple pictures, there was a lot of Kim Jean's going on. I think it only worked like every third time. Anyway. Okay. We figured. I'm glad no one walked up on that scene because they'd be like, Oh, there was some guy that walked by like soon afterwards. He had a headband on though, so I'm like, what? Okay, you're automatically who yeah. cares because you have a headband. Yeah, stranger than us. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. so when I mm. if I wear a headband, then you're gonna be like, no, I don't know. Okay, that's okay. Jake, don't wear a headband. This <laughs> is the guy. I'm like, I understand you have long shaggy hair and you want to keep it off your face because your face is all sweaty. Shave your fucking head. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, not for Jay, I like his hair like that. He's got nice curly hair when it behaves. That's like Hazel's hair. He's got a big yeah. muffin head. Yeah. I always call it muffin head. My dude's got a muffin head. He's got a dark chocolate muffin head. So, we decided to give up on bare rocks. It was very difficult for me to do, but we knew it was like another mile past the knife edge and we see these like really dark mm -hmm. ominous clouds rolling in. I'm like, okay, I guess we should turn around. And we got maybe 15 minutes down the trail and it started raining. And she was like, oh, this is nice. You know, it's like cooling us off. I'm like, yeah, it's not too bad. I don't mind hiking in the rain. And then it was raining harder and I'm noticing that we're like walking in half an inch of water on the trail. And then it was just pouring its ass off. And even though we were under the trees, we were getting drenched. And so right before it started pouring, I looked down and I was like, hey, my boobies are helping to keep the rest of my shirt dry. This is pretty nice. <laughs> and I had a backpack on and I was like, that's helping to keep my butt dry. Like parts of me are still dry. As long as my undies are dry, I will be okay. Why? Why? You're not a fan of soggy undies? No. <laughs> no. I'm like all bunched up. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so, I don't care. And then, you know. My undies were soaked today. <laughs> Not with rain, no. No! I was digging and I was like drenched in sweat. No. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like next that. time I think I'm gonna like have He's to. Not wearing any. Yeah! <laughs> That's what Hayes says now. He, for like three days now, he's not wear, like, had any undies on. He's like, Mom, I don't really want to wear undies today. And I'm like, why? He's like, Hurts my ankle. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay. I'm like, all right, buddy. Just you got to remember that your pants can't fall off. But people will see your hiney. We don't want to see that. I mean, I love your hiney because I'm your mama. But no one else wants to see the hiney. So, well, he's poor. I mean, people wouldn't be largely insulted if they saw his hiney. But, um. So right after I made this comment about, you know, parts of me still being dry is when this guy just like opened up and it was time to build an arc, basically. Um, we started running down the trail and Jay, I, I had my keens on, so my feet were pretty much okay. Because they're made to be in the water. Jay has... Were they really muddy though? Yeah, I was like splashing mud all oh, over yeah, my yeah. legs. And Jay has his Chuck Taylors on. And he's getting all like squish, 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 squish in his shoes. Wait, what and, are those? Uh, Chuck ones? Chuck Like that? the Converse. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know they were. The Converse shoes. Chucks, on. yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're like tearing ass down the trail. Of course, we're not in shape, so we didn't run for too long. So I've been like, <sighs> we <laughs> drag me! And there was drag like a stream. Me. The trail had turned into a stream. Oh. And we're like splashing through it. We get back to the car. We're that soaked. That sounds so fun. I know that like you're like, oh, we're soaked and my undies are soggy, but I'm like, oh, I want to do that. It was fun. I mean, we felt very adventurous. Oh, yeah. But I said to him, I was like, it's a good thing that we're fairly smart people and we're not lost in the woods right now in this situation because this is when hypothermia will set in. Like, people don't believe in hypothermia in the summertime. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. But how when it's still very warm it does not matter it was like what do you, it was like 60 something degrees if you are in soaked clothing and you can't get dry your core body temperature will drop oh. it will start dropping and that's when hypothermia sets in I it doesn't didn't know need that to it be was freezing that, i didn't know that um it was that cold though i guess oh. 
Well, we were like up in the mountains. Yeah, we were I like up north this year. Did not register. It might, I mean, it might have, might have been like the high 60s, right. but I was. But anything I'm below cold. your body temperature, right? right? Like right. significantly as soon as, as soon as you're wet, like wet to the. Right. Well, I guess not wet to the bone, but you know, I mean, everything was soaked through. Yeah. And uh, we got back to the were car. Were you chilly? I was really chilly. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I had a fleece blanket in the trunk. I always keep a fleece blanket mm-hmm. in the trunk and a big beach towel. So Jay used the beach towel. Uh. Well, you, I'm sure you have like basil and cilantro in your trunk. <laughs> See, some of the junk in my trunk comes in handy sometimes. Hey, you got junk, junk in that trunk. It's good junk in that trunk. Yeah, some of it is. Some of it's useful. Other stuff will just sit there for another 10 years. Uh, I'm from your old son? Okay. Um. So I wrapped myself up in the sleeve blanket, and we blasted the heat like the whole way. Oh, we heat on. I was in the blanket. And this guy that I work with today, like I told him the story, and he's like, oh, um, you know, I I don't want to like step over the line or anything, but did you take your clothes off before you wrapped okay. yourself up in the blanket? I'm like, uh, no, because I was driving down the turnpike. I didn't want to be, you know, naked or partially naked driving down the turnpike. I guess it got pulled over into an accident. And who is he weird? Because that's just... He's... No, he's not weird. <laughs> he, he, he just always tries to find a way to correct me. He's like, oh, well, you want to take wilderness first date, but you don't even know to take your clothes off if you're wet. I was like, I do want to take my clothes off if I'm wet. Like, if I was getting into okay, a tent... Okay, exactly. My but clothes the heat would be was on. on. Right. And you had a blanket. Right, and we knew, like, we were... Stopping so on the way home right. to go to the grocery store. I'm not going to walk into the grocery store just wrapped in a blanket. Like, <laughs> it was already there bad are, enough as it was. Are there factors involved in this decision-making process? No, I don't mean to like, cross the line, but are you naked? No, you were like, yeah, there. you didn't cross the line. <laughs> Step back. <clears throat> yeah, so we decided that once we got home and took warm showers and got dry clothes on, we probably wouldn't want to go out again. So we were like, we should stop now at the grocery store. Good thinking. Yeah, but we were still both. Is that when you got your eggs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were still both soaking wet. And um, when I got out of the car, it was no longer raining where we were in like Great Valley. And I realized that when I had been splashing down the trail, there was mud and like little bits of leaves plastered to my leg mm-hmm. and I'm like trying to scratch them, you know like peel them off my leg and Dave's like it's so easy like let's just, let's just go in and get this in look like bush it. people <laughs> I got home and looked at myself in the mirror I had leaves like stuck in my hair I had this like big were people like staring at you <laughs> or they're like oh my god I think they're like <laughs> Jane and Tarzan <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, we're in a Trader Joe's in like oh. a well-to-do area, yeah. so there's all these like chicks coming in like after their yoga class, you know, and they're like fancy little. I yoga still have not clothes. been there. Trader Joe's. Yeah. Um, I I really want to go. I like my Trader Joe's, like the one down in Delaware. This one yeah. was full of like zombie rich people. Um. Yeah. So there's people like walking by with coach purses, and here I am with like, you know, Tree a nice heart. little pattern of like leaves, tree parts mud all of my life. Saggy so, boobies, saggy and, undies. And it felt wonderful in the air conditioning. <gasps> let me tell you, oh my gosh. Whoa. I was chattering in there. I was chattering. Like I couldn't oh even talk gosh. to Jay. I'm like, are you ready to move? <laughs> <laughs> I had this huge curly cue, like right here. I looked like um what are those Jewish people? Like Hasidic Jews that have like the big curls that come down out of their yarmulkes. You know, okay, do they do that on purpose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh. they have to. It's part of their religion. They're, like, really if, strict Jews. Yeah, but, like, I, I worked in a Jewish retirement community, and I didn't see anyone like that. Maybe they weren't the Hasidic Jews. Yeah, no, I get you, but I'm just thinking, like, what do the curls really do? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they have to, like, grow the curls and, like, cut them off to signify something. I don't know. Okay. But they must use, like, a curly and iron. Yeah. Curly and iron. Yeah, because they're, like, all, you know, perfect iron. little... Iron. 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 Yeah. Eggs. I'm going to iron my eggs. Eggs. <laughs> Legs. 
Yeah, so I had this nice little like curl going on. Way oh. too easy. Crap in my hair. You I'm looked like, like a mud goddess. I did. <laughs> I really did. And I'm sure all the chicks in Trader Joe's were jealous yeah. of my look. I would be. <laughs> because you know what? They would look at you and be like, that chick was on an adventure. <laughs> all I did was put my ass off in the yoga studio. It's the same thing I do every week. I had to come and buy my purse and the show. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. So it was a good time. It sounds like a good time. Mm-hmm. You saw some new critters that fit in the I, I did step on the salamander on the red ass. I like, I, it looked to Jay like I was tripping. And he was like, are you okay? I was like, no, I, I, yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't want to step on this guy. And he was excited because he's never seen one. So this is the major key to me coming out. Yeah, you know, um, I've seen salamanders, but I don't. I it always impresses me how you go on these hikes and see all these animals. Like I feel like I'm oblivious to everything. Well, we didn't even see that much until the snake we found like right before the knife edge. So Were right you like we picking up rocks? No, 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 no. Like, hey. No, the snake was, like, doing? right there in the middle of the trail. Really? And I almost stepped on him, and then the red F, which is, like, this juvenile salamander, was also right in the middle of the trail. But it's hard to miss him because he's, I mean, he's called red, but he's, like, bright orange. Right. Um, and then Jay found all these crazy insects. I had a caterpillar with, like, a mohawk crawling up my back. Weak. So they're just trying to move me. Like, Katie, you are the animal caller. I am. <laughs> so, Yeah. Weird, the animal whisperer. Weird animal whisperer. <laughs> They're like, come hither, weird animal. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> no, but we had been like turning over rocks and logs trying to find salamanders, but we didn't find anything except for, you know, millipedes. And then wait a second. Oh, I hate I'm so sorry. No, the big ones. The big, not centipedes, millipedes. I know. Do you know how many of those are, there are in Florida? Oh. Do you know? And they freak me that Eppelmeyer out. I'm telling you. Like, that's, I'm not, I don't really care about. Oh, she's so cute. I don't really care about, like, bugs and spiders and mice and anything like that. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not, whatever, you know. I see them in the house and I'm like, oh darn, there's a spider. The but spiders are good because then you don't have other bugs in your house. That you I know. Can. I don't care about spiders. I vacuum, kids do. I vacuum around the spiders. So that's in there. I've just been like, hey, how are you doing? And then that's it. And I leave. Um, I don't really care about them or other bugs. I just don't. Um, but those millipedes that are gigantic, yeah. they're like, in Florida, they're like this big. And one ran over my foot one time. It's like... Lots of big. You can't really understand that in this thing. But I wait. Wait a minute. It's big, Maya. You know what I'm talking about. It would be like from our chin to the top of our forehead. These fingers are like maybe like that. Eight inches long. Okay, I like swear that. to God. <laughs> so anyway, and they're like yellow or like no. Yeah. Oh, this is the poisonous one. <laughs> this is centipede. Okay, no, but it's long like that. Yeah, no, but those are kind of Oh deep. my god, it ran over like my foot. Stripes? Like, it was like... They have yellow stripes on them? I think so. Yeah. I swear to God, Katie, that fucker went over my foot, barefoot, and I screamed. Like, I'm not a screamer when it comes to, like, creepy crawlies. Yeah. But I screamed. No, the millipedes are cute. They're, like, really dark in color. And they've got red, little, like, reddish brown legs. They're cute, and they're harmless. What's the difference between a millipede and a centipede then? Um, coloration and the Leggy? fact that centipedes, yeah, yeah, probably the, the number Leggy? of legs. The centipedes are poisonous. I know, all I hear is cent, I think of a hundred. Yeah, no, millipedes do not have a thousand legs, but okay. I guess they have more than a centipede? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not a fan with anything with lots of legs, and those are centipedes and millipedes. I just can't, like, that's my thing, like, yeah, be afraid of centipedes. Like the house centipedes, they can bite you. Yeah, you know, and I don't freak out. I'm just like, oh, but that one in Florida I did because he was fucking huge. Yeah. Whew. 
I guess it's better to be safe than sorry. Jay was telling me about this friend who got bit by a brown recluse spider, <gasps> and they had to take like a big chunk. It was like an egg-sized chunk out of this guy's arm. Yeah. Good lord. Mm -hmm. I was showing Bella pictures of one on on um, Google or whatever. Wow. Yeah, because we were just looking at like different poisonous spiders because we have so many around here and yeah, you know, um, one time. In Vermont, la um, when I went up for my friend's wedding like a couple years ago when I was pregnant with Curry, mm -hmm. I got bit on the hiney by a like on my ch butt cheek mm -hmm. by a spider. That thing like tur like it turned like it was big. Mm -hmm. It like spread and turned like this weird skin color like for like a whole year. Oh my gosh. I mean, my butt cheek is totally normal now. <laughs> FYI, <laughs> but still, I was like, oh my god, like this thing looks horrible. Yeah, that, I don't know what that was. I don't either. And you but know, with the brown necklace, you have like nerve damage. Like they have to like take all that yeah, tissue out to stop it, it from kills spreading. It, oh yeah. It. Like, I mean, you could, I, it like not. rots it. Oh people yeah, absolutely. I know, I'm so worried about like poisonous things with the kids. Like not for me, but the kids because especially Curran because he loves to go and check stuff out like he's like buggy buggy like he loves bugs and um actually the shirt that you gave me mm -hmm. from Dylan for Hayes um okay. he wears now oh. and he gets a bug shirt oh. you know and he loves it he's like buggy buggy there's a couple worms and it's like in a jar oh. and he totally oh, loves it I love that shirt. yeah it's green yeah and um, he loves it, and he always loves to look out the window. He gets up on the couch, and he looks out at all these buggies, and it's like, buggy! But, like, he screams, like, throughout the house, buggy! You know, and I'm like, yay, look at him! You know, and so we watch the bugs, and he loves ants and everything. It's totally awesome, you know. And I gave him a worm today. Yeah. Because we, we were digging. Right yeah. Is this a hole? Yeah, you oh, know. And we also find what? What was that, Jake? A night crawler? Yeah. What's a night crawler? A really big worm that oh. has like it was almost flat on one side, wasn't it, Lynn? Yeah, kind of. They squeeze the band when they open up. They're like six, seven inches long. Oh my god! It was big, and Hayes was like, "Yeah," and thing was like hanging. Oh wow! I was like, "Wow, that's a big one." You know, I always like collect the worms for them because we love them. I have a really good um, documentary that I should bring over for current about insects. Maybe not until he's like three and can understand English. Oh, no, no, no. It's just, you the just pictures? watch. It's just music and like you see videos like up close to You brought that before. I swear to God, I remember this. Dylan loved it when he was little. Yes. Like 18 months old and he would just sit there fascinated for half an hour watching these I insects. think I know that movie. Like I think you yeah. brought it over before. It was done by a French company. Like the credits and everything are in front. You showed that to Aiden, that's why. Okay. Yeah. I, can I remember, that. I totally remember that. I was that fascinated video. by it, but yeah. you know, after like. And I remember times, Dylan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's me with everything. I'm like, oh, this again. Yay. I don't have it memorized yet. <laughs> yeah. You're done your wine, huh? Mm -hmm. I was trying to get my other wine chilled, my Riscato. Oh. Yeah, I put it in there okay. so you can try it. Okay. Do you care if it's cold? No. I don't. At this point, I don't care if it's yeah. cold. Yeah. This is definitely, I mean, you know, I'm liking it. But, um, yeah, we should totally get that in a couple minutes. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. What other story? Do you have any other? Tell us a funny story, Katie. Oh, my goodness. I don't really How about your bike that. story? That's my absolute favorite. <laughs> like one of my all-time favorite stories ever, right? <laughs> I know I've told you that before, but seriously. But I don't know if I remember all of it. And I remember the general idea. story of mine. I was camping with my son Judy <laughs> and her family, and we had our bikes there. And we decided to ride down to the miniature golf course. Well, little did I know that something wasn't working quite right on my bike. So I'm riding down this hill, 
This is there a guy involved? If yes! the guy said something. You no, he something was like he was like a cute guy. Yeah, and you're yeah. like looking at him. Oh, and yeah. You're like, oh, That's you right. hot. Like, <laughs> I'm riding my bike. What did you do? Like, didn't you? Well, I was looking at him. Yeah. And then I like quick, I think I quick looked back and realized that, you know. You were heading towards something. I was heading towards like the, sh- the shed where they give you the <laughs> golf clubs and everything, you know. And there was a picnic table on my left side and a tree on my right side. And I was like, crap. So I quick slammed on the brakes. Well, the brakes didn't work. Yeah, I know. And I would like right up against the was it the shed or the tree? I think it was the tree. I think it was the tree too. I ended up hitting the tree. And you were like clunk in front of the hot guy. Yeah, and the bike like flipped out behind me. And I was like stuck to the tree. It's my face. Uh huh. I've done that on skis before too. Was there a hot guy involved? No, there was just not. Were you like no 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 no. Where you like, bam, like, left yes, and arm, yes, like, yes. and the tree was like down yes. the center of you. <laughs> I wish you saw that. <laughs> I speed off the side of the trail because I was trying to be cool. I was with um, Megan and Sarah Lina and the twins. And I was like, yeah, I can handle this. Tree skiing, no problem. So I like, like, jumped off the side of the trail. It was like a five foot drop. And you had to basically like swallow the ski through these trees. You were definitely not supposed to be there. And I did for like, 15 seconds. And then the tree just came out of nowhere. And I was, it was like, like, BAM! <laughs> <laughs> and it was the same thing. I like peeled back off of it and like yeah. fell into the snow. I was like, this is like in a cartoon. cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny, Katie. I wish I could go skiing. I miss skiing. I have not skied in lots of years. I haven't skied since before Dylan. It's been way too long. And one of my friends at work worked at one of the mountains in the Poconos in the winter, and he's like, oh, I skied like 200 days last year. I'm like, I don't know, he's 200 days, and we don't even have like the winter for it. But I guess he starts as soon as they start making snow, in like uh-huh. November, I don't know. I want to go skiing, I really do, but Jake won't ever want to go. You should go. Yeah. Oh, the mountain just scatter. But I guess you wouldn't watch the kids for us? Yeah, right. He's like, that's not skiing. I'll sit in the lodge and drink hot cocoa. With your flask. Talk. Oh, yeah, talk to the ski bunnies. Awesome, that's cool. I'll be out on the slopes. Yeah, that's not skiing, Jake. <laughs> you can stay with the kids and watch them de- break themselves, and I'm going to go skiing. No, I'll break them. Oh my god, I have a funny, well not really a funny story, but one time my sister and I went skiing in Lake Placid, and um, we went up the, you know, the little chairlift, Uh and we were young, we were very young, so, um, gosh, I don't know how old we were, I was probably in fourth grade, so she was in first, Mm -hmm. we were kids, and um, we were going up the slope, we're on this thing, we're like, all right, we're going to go down the thing, and her ski goes under mine. Ooh. So we fall off of the chairlift, and um, I we did not scissor, but I fell on her, like, upturned, so her ski was, like, this way instead of, you know, flat on the ground. Oh, yeah. I fell on that. The bruise that I had from that was insane. Ooh. I had a massive bruise all down my ass and thigh. It was horrible. And it hurt really bad. But we still had fun after after I fell and I don't know what we did. We probably went back down and tried to get up again. But Jake, we're women and kids. We didn't talk to yeah. ski bunnies. Who cares about ski bunnies? Well, I don't know. You're in fourth grade. You might have to like the guys running the list or something. Yeah. Jake? <laughs> yeah, right. At fourth grade, I was like, bring me up, sucker. I want to ski. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> So Maya could ski when she was in first grade? We had both, um, we had cross country lessons oh. when we lived with my grandparents. Oh, wow. A couple times a week I think we went and I loved it. Oh, I loved cool. it. I've never tried cross country. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, it's a good workout. Really, it's awesome. I, I, I really love that and I really wish I could go skiing again. I'm going to go snowshoeing. I feel like snowshoes in my garage. 
Yeah, to I've never been down to me. I've never been snowshoeing. You know what I want to do is snowboard. I want to snowboard so bad. I would. And I would hurt my. And oh yeah, so would I. I mean, I bruise so easily, but I don't even care. Same with ice skating. You know, I really suck at that too. I really, I end up black and blue all over the place. But I love it. I don't even care. I think with snowboarding, you'd have to commit to like more than one time though. So I think the first time you would just, just be falling all over the place and it really wouldn't be too much fun. And Jeff then, is like an awesome snowboarder. Really? Yeah, I'm like, oh, I want to learn so bad. Would he have the patience? To teach you? Yeah, he would totally be fine. I mean, I suck, but I probably would still suck after like a gazillion, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm all good. Just leave me with the board. Go have fun. <laughs> Show me what to do and I'll figure it out. You know. Hopefully. Otherwise, I'll be bruised and whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I'll heal. Yeah. Or break sure. something, and it will take a while to heal. But, right. You know. So good. Must be Sarah did. She broke her ankle hmm. or something the first time in the Oh, really? Uh huh. How do you so break it? I don't know. She like twisted it the wrong way in her in her boot. Oh, actually. Yeah. So they really. I mean, that was like on the bunny slope, like the, the tow rope, so they never even really got to go. So Jay still wants to do it too. I want to go so bad, and I have to pee really bad too right now. Maybe we should not put that on. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't even matter. What are you doing? Just do a Oh, the fact, what do yeah. you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> what is there? Have a <laughs> How does it know where to put it? Facial recognition, too. Oh. You're so ahead of the curve. Oh, I'm on the Lewis and Clark exhibition. Yeah. You need a facial. <laughs> oh, I need a facial. <laughs> um, there's lots of different things on yeah. here. We can do. Whoa, what's that? Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah. We can have some glittery stars. Oh, somebody cast a stone. We can have some roses and other things. Oh, dandelions. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Where are Oh, yeah. What? You're leaving me to get shot. Okay. I've got a jeans in his tongue. <laughs> or a Jay Leno chin. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, or, or how about Julie Roberts lips? <laughs> <laughs> Put your head in there. <laughs> I like the wiggle. Oh yeah. Look at my nose, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like meow. I still look mood freaking me out. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? It's like the fat person cam. Look at my nose. Thank you. Oh no. We've got like encephalitis, whatever that's called, in your head. There you go. Yeah, man. Check it. My hair looks so <laughs> good. <laughs> You got the beehive. <laughs> look at that. Look at it. <laughs> oh, that one. I remember that one. Oh, what's that? Down there. <laughs> I don't know. Look at your armpit. Yeah. <coughs> look at it. It looks strong. Yeah. Whoa. Muscle. <laughs> See that my face is fogged. Ooh, Katie's got a big muscle. Bringing out the I big gun. That's right. I think I'm. Look at all the sun in our faces, Oh my god, look at my hair! I look like that. Look at my hair, Bonnie! <laughs> I look like Dracula. Look at my ear! Yeah, You're like an like elf! <laughs> Good 
interesting or not to do a more than just drinking wine. <laughs> For real? You Imagine. might be like crying with me. Oh my god, I look like a man. Look at my neck. Jake made him be on video earlier. Or not earlier, but a couple of videos ago. He like lifted him up and he had like this ball on his mouth. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, so wait, do just Mexican people, like, is there a lot of Mex Did you say Mexican? Did I make that up? Mexican, okay. Puerto Sorry. Rican, all the different ethnicities. Well, the African American. No matter what color their skin, the they're coming there to eat. They come to. Do they go to, there to eat? And they are some backward sick people, whatever you call them. They're from the sick. Oh, I'm like backward sick. <laughs> what does that mean? Sick. I don't know. <laughs> I feel you now. I feel you. Yeah. I was a little confused for a moment. I get you. Yeah. They are at different strokes to different folks. That's what I try to remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's important to keep your mind open. Right. No judging. Some people don't, you know, care if they lose their children. Some people do. Yeah, I'm one that does. <laughs> I'll go ballistic and beat people if I start losing my kids. I'm just saying. Have you ever lost Dylan yet? Um, yeah, the mall in North Carolina. Really? No, I did not. Oh, yeah. Tell us. 
Oh. I was only... Oh, how old was Did you almost you know? shit your pants because Three? I almost shit my pants? Yeah, yeah. I was down there visiting Becca. Maybe she was like only two, two or three. And we went to the mall. And we took him to the Disney store. She was like, what, still a kid doesn't like the Disney store? Yeah, they all do. Now we were That's walking around. Store, but and it. actually, Becca and I were having a lot of fun. We were like reminiscing about Little Mermaid or something. We were yeah, singing yeah. Little Mermaid songs. And all of a sudden, I look around. And I'm like, where's my child? Dylan? And I start calling his name. She's calling his name. We're walking up and down. You know, like the aisles in the Disney, Disney store are not that tall. Like you can kind of see over them. Yeah. And I'm getting was, stressed out right now thinking about it. in the store. And we told the um, salesperson so she could tell we were panicking. I gave her a description of him. And I said, I'm going to walk out, you know, into the mall and start looking for him. Well, like four stores down, there was one of those little play areas where you yeah, yeah, pop yeah. a couple quarters uh-huh. in and you can go for like a rocket ride and that type of thing. Oh, well, that's where he was because that's where he decided he wanted to be. Uh-huh. So we didn't have to involve security or anything like that. Well, can I tell you about my my experience in losing my child? And mine's worse because I didn't even know I lost my child. Okay. <laughs> That's how bad it was. We were at um, Mia's door at the park. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Thank you for that. So we come over with the loudspeaker like, pay attention. <laughs> but I lost. Okay, sorry, go ahead. So we are at Mia's fifth birthday party in February. We were bowling. Okay. And so, you know, we're bowling, and my kids are with Jake, and I think his mom up in the um, area. Yeah, he's back to... Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they were up in the game, like the little arcade section, uh-huh. playing games. Your high needs asleep? Oh, like Your flight's asleep? You want iced tea? I'll get oh, it, I'll get it for you story. in a minute. Oh no, momento. So, um, <laughs> they're up playing games, blah, 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 blah. So I see, I'm with Curran and Aiden, and um, I think Hayes and Bella are up there with them. So I'm just holding Curran because he refuses to be put down because he sees all these strangers around. Right. And okay. so Isabella's name comes up on the screen saying her turn's next. Mm. So I'm like, okay, I send somebody up after her. Maybe it was Ron or something. Mm-hmm. And um, all of a sudden I hear the loudspeaker, Jackie, the, Isa- um, the parent of Isabella, can you come up to the front? I'm like, what the heck? I, I like booked my ass up there with current. And, like, she was lost, and it was just, like, 10 feet away from, okay, 50 feet away from us, like, a couple, at, like, lanes down. Lanes down. Yeah. But still, I'm like, oh, my God, oh, I'm so glad that she knew to go up yeah, there. Yeah, that's good. You and know? she knew your name. She knew your first name. Well, but shit. Seriously? I mean, she's five, six. But you would not even imagine, like, how many kids don't know their parents' names. Like, my mom's I, name I'm is Mommy. Mom, yeah, my Mommy Hollis. Right. Well, as, even if they know your last name, Mommy Call Us is better than just Mommy. Like, teach your kids your first and last name. Your real oh my gosh. first and last name. I was like, when when I heard that, like, my heart did this, like, <gasps> like, I just got this complete panic. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, something, you know, like, yeah. oh, that fear of losing your child and just something is wrong. That is, oh, man. Yeah, that's I mean, at, at least you were inside I know, like, a oh my God. bowling area where that was really the only choice. Like, she had to be somewhere in there, right? Like, yes. as opposed to a mall with 50 stores or a 3,000 acre park, you know? Mm-hmm. Let me just lay here and sunbathe while my two year old runs down to the water by themselves. That's a brilliant idea. Yikes. What are you doing over there? Are you putting the pool together in the house? <laughs> Jake? You were playing his didgeridoo before. <laughs> that was pretty good didgeridoo. Are you, yeah. you going to be the filter? GD? Thing? What are you talking about, GD? 
good. Goddamn. Oh, okay. A goddamn. <laughs> okay, got it. GD. Okay, we should get some more wine. Happy tea. All right. See ya, suckers. <laughs> Say bye, Katie. Adios. Bye, Katie. I forget where the stop button is there. It is.